Okay, um, this is an update into what's been going on. It turned out that Neil Jones, who goes against the Hamilton police all the time, well, that was a mistake getting him for a lawyer because four years waiting for him to do something and five thousand uh, dollars, he did nothing and then he sided with the police. So if you have problems, stay away from that guy. Uh, so what we're doing is we filled out the papers. to make a complaint to the Upper Law Society where hopefully you can get your money back but you can't get your four years back, you know. So we filled it all out and we sent them documentation. That's a letter stating our three meetings, what useless dribble we talked about when I was there and he charged me all that money for that he said. And then we, uh, my new lawyer, he had him send me a document, you know, stating where all the money went, and he just basically just wasted $5,000 in four years. So I also sent all the information that I sent the lawyer so that he could take the Hamilton police to court and prove that they lied, those officers. Millington lied about going down there with the first responders to help my son, right? So we've got that done, and... The forms you can get online for the Upper Law Society and that's their address. Now I've tried to get a hold of the RCMP to see if they would help, but RCMP and Hamilton, uh, they seem to be friends with the Crown's office and the Hamilton Police Department, so uh, not much really help there at all. So I was on the internet looking at different RCMP detectives and I came across a division in Vancouver. So they're a long way away from the Hamilton Police Department, right? And I found a girl that is right up there for victims of homicides. And her name is Jennifer Pound from the RCMP. And I wrote, my name is John Fraskus. I'm sending you the facts and proof of the injustice and the, and the criminals my family has been dealing with. I read your profile on the internet and you seem to be a person of high ethical beliefs. I'd appreciate your help in this matter. The justice system has put my family through a nightmare and that is just not even explaining how bad this was with all these people. We want the criminals charged and appeal on the light sentence Drew Reed got. Can you, you can go on my Facebook to see the videos of the whole nightmare in court. Just Facebook my name, P.S. John Bevesquez. Thank you for any help you can give us. And I will put, I'm going to put my phone number and my email on the bottom of that page. And it's got all the facts from court and what we got from our useless lawyer on what they said. And in these facts that we got from our justice system, they left out the, um, the 911 dispatcher's report. Uh, that wasn't even in there. They didn't even have a report on the fire department going down there. And this was an unknown 911 call or the ambulance. And I talked to um, some paramedics who were fueling up an ambulance at a gas station and they said the reason the fire trucks go to an unknown 911 call is just in case, just in case that there's a fire and they're needed because they don't know it's an unknown 911 call, right? And this was, they got three. And the ambulance goes for the same reason. They don't know if anybody's hurt. At, one, at, at an unknown 911 call. Now, there is no reports on the fire department or the ambulance ever going there, and no dispatcher's report. And my lawyer, he didn't care. Um, the judge, she didn't care. And definitely the homicide detectives, they didn't care, or Timothy Powers, the Crown didn't care. But me and my family, we care. And we're not going to let this go until we get justice. So now we have a new lawyer, and he's from Toronto. So hopefully, hopefully, he won't be persuaded by, uh, I don't know, Timothy Powers, the Crown, the Hamilton Police Department, to uh, make this waste, waste another four years. When I gave him all the documents I had, he said, wow, you've done all the detective work. That makes things a lot easier. Everything in these papers, and we even marked them out.
we try to make it as simple as possible for everybody because they seem very confused on the other end of this or they're just trying to wait to maybe we just lose interest but it's not going to happen okay so bye for now i'm going to mail the stuff off and i'll see what happens i'll let you have to know what happens next i'll be putting this on youtube thanks